asked, what is the greatest common factor of 25 and 30? Well, in order to solve this problem, we must begin by listing all the factors of both 25 and 30. So let's start with our number 25. What are the factors of 25? And again, factors are simply numbers that we multiply together in order to get another number. So what numbers could we multiply together that are going to give us our number 25? Well, we start with our smallest factor of 1. We know that 1 times 25 is equivalent to 25. So both 1 and 25 are factors of our number 25. Now, are there any other numbers that we can multiply together in order to get 25? Well, we know from our multiplications that 5 times 5 will give us 25. And these are all of the factors of 25 because these are all the numbers that we can multiply together in order to get our number 25. Now we're going to find all of our factors of our number 30. So what numbers could we multiply that are going to give us our number 30? Well, starting with our smallest factor, we know that 1 times 30 is equivalent to 30. So both 1 and 30 are factors of our number 30. Are there any other numbers that we can multiply together in order to get our number 30? Well, if we look at this last digit right here, it's a 0. And from our divisibility rules, we know that any number that, has a, that ends in the digit of 0 has a factor of 10. So what number times 10 is going to give me 30? Well, if we know our multiplications, we know that 3 times 10 is equivalent to 30. And are there any other factors of 30? Are there any other numbers that we can multiply together in order to get our number 30? Well, if we, if we know our multiplications again, we know that 5 times 6 is equivalent to 30. So we have found all of our factors of both 25 and 30. So now what we're going to do, we're simply going to list them in order from least to greatest. And I'm going to just draw an arrow to indicate in what order we're going to list them. So we're going to start with 1, and we're going to work our way down to 5, and then we're going to um, go to 6 and work our way up. And we're going to do the same with 25. So let's just list our numbers in order from least to greatest, or our factors in order from least to greatest. So the factors of 30 in order from least to greatest are 1, 3, 5, 6, 10, and 30. Now the factors of 25 in order from least to greatest are 1, 5, and 25. And if you notice, I did not list the factor 5 twice. We just need to list them once. So although 5 times 5 is equivalent to 25, we only list it one time. So comparing, comparing our factors vertically, which factors do they both have that are the same? Well, we can easily see that 1 is a factor that both 30 and 25 have. Now, is 3 a factor? Do we, we see a 3 as a factor of 30, but is it a factor of 25? No, so that this is not a common factor. Again, common factors are factors that, that both of these numbers have that are the same. What other two numbers do you guys see that are the same? Well, I, could, I see a 5 right here. This is a common factor of both 30 and 25. Now, are there any other numbers or factors, I'm sorry, that both 30 and 25 have that are the same? They both have a 6. Well, 30 has a factor of 6, but 25 doesn't have a factor of 6. So, no, they, they don't. They don't. 10 as well. 10 is not a factor of both 30 and 25, and neither is 30. So, our greatest common factor in this for this problem, or of 25 and 30, is our number 5. And that is our answer.